Support Name Explain on Patreon for ad-free videos, exclusive podcasts and blog posts, and to help choose what names get explained. Click the link in the description. Okay, so let's talk about the elephant in the room to begin with. Yeah, I've actually kind of already done this video in the past. All the way back in 2017, I made a video explaining why Taiwan and Thailand have somewhat similar names. However, that video didn't go down too well. If you were watching at the time, I'm sure you may remember that. Also, my style of video making has changed so much since then, I feel like I can justify making another video on this subject. I've also said in the past I'm not against redoing names slash videos so consider this the first formal time of that being the case though maybe this one will go down in infamy like the last one too who knows so with the air cleared let's once again after many years venture back into the nation of thailand and this is a country I'm more than happy to revisit as it's an amazing part of the world. With an area size of just over half a million kilometers and a population of just over 66 million, Thailand is the 50th largest nation by geographic size and the 22nd largest by population size. It's a nation known for its bustling cities like Bangkok with vibrant nightlife, yet it's also a country known for its peace and amazing natural and historic sites like the ancient city of Ayutthaya and its many national parks. Parks. Of course, it has incredible wildlife too, most famously its elephants. Thailand also has some more obscure claim to fame, like it being the native home of the energy drink Red Bull, or that one city in the nation holds an annual monkey buffet, where the wild monkeys are offered food by the local residents. It really is a nation with a bit of everything. While pretty much all of us know this country is Thailand today, this certainly wasn't always the case. In the past, the country went by a different name entirely that being Siam. What's interesting about this name is that not only is it an older name for the country, but it's also an exonym. An exonym is when a country has a vastly different name outside of its native language, like how Germany is called Deutschland in German, or how Japan is called Nihon in Japanese. I'm sure most of you watching by now know this anyway, still no harm in being thorough. So this video really could have been one of my why is X called Y in English videos, instead of one of my why did X change its name to Y videos. So consider this video two in one, you lucky people. Anyway, we know this name of Siam wasn't used by the natives of the country. So where did it come from? There seems to be a few ideas as to how this name came about. The most popular theory is that it derived from Sanskrit with their word of Sayama. This word is thought to mean dark and brown. This name is thought to have been applied to the land because the skin tone of the natives was darker and more brown than the skin tone of the natives in the surrounding parts of Asia. However, this isn't the only idea for the name. Another idea is that it comes from the Pali language, which is native to the Indian subcontinent and means land of gold, as well as another idea that comes from the Mon language, which is actually native to Thailand and means land of strangers. While we may not know the exact origin of the name, it's easy to see why we're so sure that it's an exonym. These origins have the land being named after the skin colour of the people there, as well as it being named after what can be found there, gold. These are very common themes we see when somewhere is named by outsiders. Another example is with the name Ethiopia, coming from Greek and ultimately meaning burnt face, once again in reference to the skin tone of the natives. However, the idea that the name means stranger in a native language is very much a curveball in all this. Why would the natives be calling themselves strangers? The land of Thailand was initially various different kingdoms so that might explain it. If you have an idea then please let me know, I'll be happy to hear it. Regardless, it seems that a name of this ilk was picked up by Portuguese explorers in the land and it was them who corrupted it into the name of Siam. And as mentioned, when the various kingdoms that made up the land united in the 18th century, to the outside world, this newly formed country took on the name Siam on the world stage. While this name became standard across the globe, what about in Siam itself? What are people of Siam calling Siam? Siam? Well, I've kind of read conflicting reports on this. Some places have said that Siam was used in the nation, especially for translating their name into English. Like, we have postage stamps from the land with Siam written on them. King Monkut the Great was also known to sign things as the King of Siam too. However, others have pointed out that in the land and in their language, the country has always been called Myong Thai, with this name meaning Land of the Thais, aka Thailand. So if Thailand has always been called Thailand by its natives, then where did that name come from? 
Well, this name is pretty easy to decipher. Like most countries that have a name ending with land, the former part relates to the people who live there. Poland is the land of the Poles, Finland is the land of the Finns, and Thailand is of course the land of the Thai. The Thai being the native people of the land. So if Thailand is named after the Thai people, then how did the Thai people get their name? The name of these people is believed to mean free. I've seen it say that Thai just means free, though I've also read that it can mean free people or even just people. The popular etymology is that the name Thailand means land of the free people or even just land of the free, which of course is a nickname another nation seems to take pride in. Both of these nations even have red, white and blue flags too. Though perhaps Thailand actually has more claim to being the true land of the free than the United States, as Thailand can pride itself on being the only Southeast nation that has never been ruled by European or Western power. The United States can't quite claim that now can they? Of course I'm just being silly when I compare these two countries and argue over which one has the better claim to calling themselves the land of the free, though that could make a fun video in the future possibly. Unsurprisingly of course, this name meaning the land of the free, as well as their history of independence, gives the Thai people a strong sense of pride. While Thailand, or at least a Thai variation of it, has always been the nation's name in Thailand, how exactly did that name become the norm across the rest of the world and replace Siam? Well, this change in name came about in the early 20th century. It was in this period of time that land that Thailand had claimed from Laos, Cambodia and Malaysia had to be surrendered to the French. This of course angered people, and in 1927, a new radical political party was formed in Siam, as it was called to the outside world at the time. This party was called the People's Party and one of its founders was a former army officer called Fibun. Sick of the Thai monarchy, in 1932 he helped lead a coup against the king and set up a more western style government in the country. While the royal family survived and still do to this day, by 1938 Fibun and his People's Party were running the country under a dictatorship. It was a year later in 1939 that he formally changed the country's name from Siam to Thailand for the rest of the world world. Fibun was a nationalist who took tremendous pride in his country and the native name for it. He didn't like the fact that so many people around the world knew his country by a different foreign name. Removing Siam and replacing it with Thailand gave the world a truly Thai name for the country. It helped boost morale and emphasise the nation's unique identity. As Fibun was a dictator however, there was a darker undercurrent to this name too. It was meant to put the Thai people of Thailand in the spotlight and while the majority of the population is Thai, there were of course migrants living and working in the land too, noticeably Chinese people. At this time, it seems China and Thailand did not have the best relationship, and as well as this name change, Fibun created a new slogan, Thailand for the Thai, which was also meant to put pressure on the Chinese migrants in the land to leave the nation. Fibun also hoped that with his new name, Thailand could become a bigger player on the world stage. He wanted the nation to be more western too. This included a new national anthem adopting the western calendar and demanding Thai people wear more western style clothes. It seems really contradictory to take away the nation's more western name in favour of a native name, but in turn make your nation adopt more western lifestyles. But more often than not, dictators are pretty contradictory, weird, unpleasant individuals. While Fibun graced the land with that name in 1939, this isn't the story over and done with, as the country actually reverted back to the name of Siam in 1946. This seems to be because two years earlier in 1944, Fibun was forced to resign. With his regime over, the name could revert back, yet this would only last another two years, as in 1948, Fibun found himself in control of the land again thanks to the US and military support. It wasn't before too long he placed the name Thailand on the land once again, and since 1948, the name has remained the same, officially being the Kingdom of Thailand, which is Ratchka and Nachkatai in their native language. And while that name may remain, Fee Bun did not. He was eventually ousted in 1957, and from there he lived in exile in Japan until his death in 1964. Though despite his death, the name Thailand has lived on. 
So where does that leave the name Siam? Well, despite it no longer being the official name of the nation, the name does still have some relevance. Siam has become something of a go-to exotic place name for a far off land. It can often be found in branding too, along with the usual tropes that come with the image of Thailand. It's a name people still know that's for sure, and there's still people alive to this day who would have known this land primarily by the name of Siam. What's most interesting however is that while Siam may not be used all too much anymore, its adjective form of Siamese is still pretty popular. This adjective can be found in a variety of places. It is seen in the somewhat outdated name for conjoined twins, named so as some famous conjoined twins were born here, hence the name Siamese twins. However, the adjective of Siamese is most well known in the name of a breed of cat. Cyan and Thailand were suggested by Angel Amaskita, and thanks to their suggestion, they will now be honoured as name explained patron saint of Siam and Thailand. Do you have a good idea for somewhere that's name could be covered in a name explained video? If so, then please consider donating on Patreon. Just $1 a month helps keep the channel running and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video, and you too could be a name explained Patreon saint. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Patron is vital to Name Explain, and donating just $2 a month allows you to enjoy ad free videos and bonus patron exclusive content. It also allows you to help choose what names get explained in upcoming videos, and it gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give Name Explain. Thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. Check out another video and subscribe to stay in the loop on all things Name Explain. You can find me on Twitter, I'm at NameExplainYT. On Instagram, I'm also NameExplainYT. And on Facebook, just search Name Explain. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, thank you all so much.